Mitchell, uh-oh, Lancer's in trouble. Then he's, oh my god, what is he doing? Game over for Lancer, but wait, who is this guy? Hello everyone, Mixman Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're back here in the test server Mech Arena, and we are going to be featuring the new Voltaic RPG 14. Why they chose 14, I don't know. It really doesn't make much sense at all. The only thing I can come up with is that for those mechs that have a maximum capacity of 32, uh, that would be your Panther, your Guardian, your Redox, uh, Arachnus. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any others. Can't remember, really remember off the top of my head. But when you get to 6 star, without getting it maxed out like I have, like I have here. But if you get a 6 star level 1, you have 28 energy capacity. So you could, in theory, at 6 star level 1, if you have the dual copy of the RPG, the Voltaic RPG 14, you can't equip two of them. That being said, most people who get to that level will actually want to make use of the 32 capacity once they get the mech maxed out. So at that point, are you going to still potentially run the Duo's uh, Voltaic RPG 14 out of 28 power and give up the extra 4 power you have once you get maxed out? Or would you move on to something else? And if you do move to something else, like for instance Dual Railgun 16s, then why would you want to invest your resources into upgrading the Vol the Voltaic Voltaic RPG 14s? It just it's a really odd number. Uh, they I think I read someplace that they might be putting out the uh, 16 version, which then would make a lot more sense. But a 14 really makes no sense whatsoever, unless you're only going to invest. In the first couple levels, once you get to star of six of six for your mechs, instead of putting resources to max them out to full 32 power capacity. I, I don't know. It really, really made no sense considering almost everything else in the game is like a multiple of eight. Well, with that being said, let's just see what we can do here. Hopefully we can get some decent gameplay. I have the Nova Pilot on here. And you might be wondering, say, well, why do you have Nova Pilot? RPGs are not missiles. Well, I actually was wondering this myself, but then when you click on the missile damage, you see RPGs are listed. So, uh, in the Voltaic take, our RPG is there as long as the missile rack, uh, uh, no, 6, 8, and 12. So, I, I really don't understand whether it's missile damage or RPG damage, or are they kind of the same flavor and the pilots work regardless of which one it is? Because if that's the case, and, and no, it's I guess RPGs, rockets are kind of like missiles. But anyways, I just, I got confused because <laughs> it's just the, the way it was labeled. But anyways, it does say that the Nova Pilot will actually increase the damage for RPGs as well as the Voltaic ones. So we're going to go in here. We're going to see what we can do. Unfortunately, I've been trying to get some footage today on the test server and the internet connections over there, at least on their, their test server side, their server connections are really horrible right now. I keep getting disconnected in the middle of games. So let's see. Hopefully we can get at least a half decent game in. Uh, I had the same thing when I went and tried to do my Stephanie uh, token uh, pilot giveaway uh, using the test server. I was just getting connect, disconnected through the match constantly. Uh, and uh, it just it really didn't lend well to very stellar gameplay. But... Uh, we, we really only have access to the test server in a short period of time, so I kind of have to make do with what it's like right now. So we're going to go in here and uh, let's let's do a CPC match for a change. Why not? And like I said, fingers crossed, we get some decent gameplay. Uh, I, like I said, I have the duels on there on the Panther right now, so we're going to see what we can do. Uh, hopefully I can use my stasis uh, fence in order to protect myself, especially if I end up keep getting disconnected. But we'll make do with whatever we can. All right, so, so we are on a linear map, and I actually usually hate linear maps, but for the purposes of this video and using these weapons, as well as the Panther, it probably should work out relatively well. Again, assuming I can get to a point where I can get set up and I don't continuously get disconnected. My Wi-Fi, or at least my connection anyway, seems to be semi-stable at the moment. 
but that can easily change quickly. So I'm gonna throw my barrier up here. Uh, we have some guy over there, he's dead. Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go, got him, nice. Get that guy up there, maybe. Nope. Oh, oh okay, got him. Let's just hang back a little bit, throw up my fence. They got rid of his shield. Nice. Get a reload going. So we're doing okay here. Now, these weapons, they definitely pack a punch. Like they're they're not they're not a worthless weapon by any means. It's just, again, the, the whole 14 power combination compared to all the other weapons in this game. I just I, I just really I, I'm not understanding their, their decision on this one. You get another kill there, nice. Okay, got him. Throw that over there. Get behind cover. Get my reload going. All right, get him. If we can, nice. Throw that up. All right, so there is a bit of a splash on this, which is good. Because I'm obviously not hitting these guys directly. Back on down. Uh, ooh, 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 he's got, he's got disc launchers. Him, oh, I thought for sure he was, I was going to get him there. All right, well, maybe I should actually throw up my shield. Oh, I thought for sure I had him. There we go. Nice, got one more shot left. All right, back on down. I have to watch it now. I, I don't want to get completely killed here yet. Oh, oh, that's what I was trying to avoid. That's what I was trying to avoid. Throw that back up again. Oh, okay, there we go. Got him. Get him over there. Back on down. We got a reload going, but I need my shield. So I really don't have much health left. Alright, so shield up. Come on in. Okay, missed him. Oh, missed him again. Come on. There we go. Got him. Back down. Doing well. We've almost got this taken care of. Oh, shoot. He's coming up there. Is he? Yep. Got him around the corner there. Oh, I wanted one more kill. Oh, well. You no, know I'm, I'm going to probably stop there. I would like to do another game, but I really don't want to push my luck because I actually got through the whole game without getting disconnected. And I don't want to have happen what happened to me in the Stephanie video. And if you haven't seen it, go over there. You'll see what I'm talking about. So anyways, well, let's just hop out of here. And, you know, it's definitely a powerful weapon. That's for sure. Uh, will it be meta? Uh, I'm, I, I don't know. Uh, they do hit relatively hard. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious how they hit in comparison to the rail guns. Let's just do a quick comparison here. So the weapon here. Uh, it has a damage of 33,485. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that's per shot. Let's see if we see here. Oh, damage. No, that, that's total damage per magazine. Okay. So basically 33,500 per magazine, uh, 6,700 per shot. And let's go over here and look at the rail guns. And so it's damage per magazine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's significantly higher. It's almost 20, 22, 23,000 more damage per magazine. And per shot, it's, yeah, it's three times as much per shot. So, I don't know, it just, those, the Voltaire um, RPGs, 14s, they felt like they were hitting heavy. But then again, these are probably lower level AI bots on the test server. They're, they're probably not that leveled up. So maybe that's why it seemed like they were doing it was doing a lot more damage in comparison to probably live players who have maxed out uh, equipment, mechs, etc. It you know, these really won't pack the punch, obviously, that the rail guns do. So, you no, know, that being said, what are your thoughts on the Volteric uh, RPG 14s? Does it make sense to you to have a 14 level power weapon in the game? Or if you do happen to get it, would or would you level it up or would you wait for a 16 version? Uh, I do think there's a 16 version coming, but I, I really can't remember. So please don't quote me on that. I thought I read it someplace, but I really, really don't know. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give me a thumbs up. 
consider subscribing. Until next time, cause some mayhem in the field for me.